Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to adjust or change sleep settings on your Windows 11 computer. So if you want to adjust your sleep feature to perhaps save on battery life, or if you just want to be more energy conscious, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to sleep it in a certain time interval. It's also a nice security feature as well, so if you want to lock it from people being able to access your computer after so much inactivity. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to do all of that. So appreciate for the process, and let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in settings, best match, should come back with settings. Go ahead and open that up. Make sure you select the system option on the left side if you're on Windows 11. Windows 10, you just would select the system tile. And on the right side, you want to scroll down to go to power. So go ahead and left click on that. And then where it says screen and sleep, go ahead and select that. So where it says when plugged in, turn off my screen after, this will just turn off the monitor after a certain time interval, so anywhere between one minute or never. And you can also adjust when plugged in for my device to sleep after. So this, this is different. The first option just turns off your display, but if you tap a key on your keyboard, it'll just come right back up. Whereas if you put your device to sleep, it will lock your computer until you enter back in your computer password, assuming you have one. And you can also adjust the power mode here as well, so you can optimize your device based on power use and performance. So if you want to do best performance, you can select that option or best power efficiency. Please note they act inversely of one another, so better performance will come at the cost of greater battery usage. So, and you know, the inverse, like I said, would be true for better power efficiency, meaning that your battery will last longer. It'll last longer, at least on a charge perspective, but you're going to have an issue where your computer might not be performing up to what you expect it would be. And you can also access a lot of these settings in a little bit more detail through the control panel. So if you open up the search menu and type in control panel, we could have accessed it through that page as well, but just in the event that Windows changes, which they often do, they, they move their settings around between different major builds. The control panel is always a nice, pretty uniform place to go for these kind of videos as well. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the control panel. I'm going to set my view by to large icons. And then I'm going to go and select the power options section. And you can see, again, it looks somewhat similar in terms of the naming of the plans here. So you got the balance, power saver. And if you show additional plans, you can select high performance. And you can also choose when to turn off the display and when the computer sleeps over on the left side here. So you can make those adjustments. And you can always restore the default settings for the plans by selecting that little hyperlink there. So pretty straightforward process. You can also create your own custom plan by selecting that option here too if you want to create a plan and then just follow along with the options. And you can also choose what the power button does. So when you press your power button, you can set it to either shut down, sleep, turn off the display, or do nothing. So pretty straightforward process there, guys, on that front. And as always, thank you for watching. Do buzz will help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.